what's going on youtube and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having a great start to your day and most importantly i hope everybody woke up happy and healthy all right so i wanted to come on here and talk about this disrespectful situation that went down and i mean it's extremely disrespectful in my opinion so you have this chick jesse Wu, right i don't know much about her you know i think she's a part of the love and hip-hop cast miami right i don't watch that trash anyway so I'm not privy to any information involving this chick, Jessie Wu. But her wiki says that she's an actress, a comedian, and things of that nature. But hey, that's typical, right? Because, you know, people that want to be a part of the Hollywood elite, that's what they usually list themselves as. So anyway, before I go any further, I want to encourage you guys to go ahead and hit that like button. And also, would you kindly hit the share button, all right? We want to go ahead and get this channel flowing through the algorithm so we can do big things, right? Okay, so back to this hussy Jesse Wu. So basically, she was on Wild and Out, and she was impersonating Whitney Houston. And what she said in regards to Whitney Houston, it was so disrespectful. It was supposed to be a joke. It was supposed to be funny and things of that nature, but I didn't find it funny at all. And a lot of people didn't find it funny. So guys, let me play you what she said in regards to Whitney. You have reached my line, but unfortunately, All right, so you heard the ignorance. It was on full display. There's no way around it, right? And so she took to Instagram Live to try to explain her position. And so I want you guys to check this out, all right? Myself a, a comedian because I feel like comedians are people who know how to do stand up and they know, like, they've been, that's been their craft for years and years and years. But people have called me a comedian because I, I, get on here and I do things that 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 make people laugh. Going back to Wild and Out, like when I think about the most viral clips or, you know, they are of a man, you know, pushing the boundaries and being disrespectful towards women, but in a comedic way. We've seen men snatch women's hair, you know what I mean? Like snatch the wigs off their heads. And like, again, it's okay because it's on a comedic platform. The Whenever you see a girl getting dragged from Wild and Out, it's for doing the same shit. but she gets dragged. If a guy did that, would that be the same reaction? And the answer is no. All right, so we heard what Jesse Wu had to say in regards to the situation. So I wanna say first and foremost that she does have a point that the men and the women should be held to the same standard. But in that same sentence, you need to take full accountability for your actions because here's the thing, I'm sorry. Listen, you said that the men get away, right, with snatching wigs off of women's heads on the stage of Wild and Out, okay? But how are you gonna compare that to talking about somebody that passed away? One of our iconic figures that passed away, right? Listen, let me tell you something. Whitney is not to be played with. It's certain individuals that you can't mock or play with. And unfortunately, but fortunately, Whitney is one of them. So you can't talk about Whitney in that fashion, whether you like it or not. Again. How can you compare a man snatching a woman's wig off of her head on a comedic platform? That's what you said. Again, it's okay because it's a comedic platform. Okay, so how can you compare that to mocking someone, one of our iconic figures at that, when they're no longer here? Like, what made you think that the fact that you have men on Wild and Out that are snatching the wigs off of women's heads, that it would be okay because it's a comedic platform for you to mock somebody that passed away. Listen, I talked about that this morning on my podcast. I talked about the cancel culture and I brought up the comedian aspect of things, right? And I talked about how 
people allow comedians to say and do whatever like there's no boundaries right and so this is an example of it because she thought that it was perfectly fine to go on wild and out and mock whitney houston not being here anymore not being alive like that is crazy to me like we have to separate morals and values from what's actual comedy because in my estimation mocking someone that passed away is not comedy right or at least not to me it's not comedy at all this is serious business you know what i'm saying and listen like i said people talk about the cancel culture oh it was just comedy oh she shouldn't be canceled listen there's consequences to what you say now whether you like it or not you know i'm sick of this notion that these comedians can get away with saying whatever you know what i'm saying just because they're comedians they need to be held accountable for some of the things that they say because some of them be pushing the envelope right and some of them can be downright disrespectful right so i do believe that certain boundaries should be implemented in what a comedian can talk about and what they can't talk about and one of those things that they shouldn't absolutely touch ever is mocking someone that passed away right we need to get rid of that and to everybody that was laughing on that stage, you know, the people that look like me that have the same hue as I do. Listen, I'm telling you, some of us ain't nothing. Some of us are not even worth fighting for. I'm going to keep it all the way real because there was nothing funny for all of those ignorant. Let me let me get myself together. OK, because I don't want to say nothing crazy. But for all of those individuals that were on that stage laughing at that hideous and horrific joke. <laughs> Look, you mean to tell me that all the things that Whitney has been through in her life, that you couldn't find anything else to make a mockery of, right? She could have picked and chose anything, right? And then this is the problem. She wanted to do something that was of shock value and she wanted to be extreme. But when people come down to counsel you for being extreme, y'all want to call the people that want to counsel you extreme because you went extreme, right? Nah. They're fighting you with that same energy. So it is what it is, right? You know, you should have chose another avenue to go down instead of going down the avenue that will mock someone that is now deceased, you idiot. Anyway, I'm gonna let this go right here and let y'all have that in the comments. Drop down and let me know what you think about this whole entire situation, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.